you, Blue Jay. You're lucky. Camera's on fire. <laughs> Alrighty, welcome back everybody. Hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Umarex no toast. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. I got the buck rail uh, conversion kit on it. it. Came in the mail yesterday. I'm loving that as well. Uh, this is going to be an excellent little bird hunting rig. And I think I should be able to gratefully enjoy getting out a little bit more when I have to carry something nice and compact and light like this over the Armada. I love the Armada. It's an excellent gun. Absolutely just love it. But man, is it heavy. <laughs> it isn't much to complain about if it's short-term stuff, but if you're going to go out for a decent walk or go out for a hunt, you feel it. You absolutely do. But anyways, enough about that. Mousin. Um... I originally had the, uh, the Notos that I got for my birthday. Thanks, babe. <laughs> and uh, I shot it for uh, about a week. I put about 1,500 rounds through it. And the bolt, the lever, the action got super, super stiff. Like it wouldn't, it got to like a three quarters position and it wouldn't go any further and it would stick. Like it was stuck, stuck. So I sent it back in. They sent me a new one, which is this one. I got it. I love the gun so much I didn't want to just get my money back, hey. i just it'd be easier to get the gun back. Got the gun back. I'm loving it. Started looking into the buck rail stuff. Man. Awesome. I, it, it opens the world to more affordable accessories for guns and such. Especially for air guns. Because you don't want to be paying two, $300 a part just to throw something. Add one part to your, your kit, you know. So... I appreciate that you can get the job done for a friendlier cost. Nothing is free, okay? Nothing is cheap, but still very, very affordable and absolute quality is very good. Very friggin' good. As soon as I showed the wife and I said it was 3D printed, she's like, we need to get a 3D printer. <laughs> That's a woman right there. Anyways, back to the mousing. I did some mousing with the original Notos. I think I shot two mice with it. Okay, I put one on the video, a video of the first one, then I shot a second one in the filming of a second series or a second uh, episode, and um, then I had to send the gun back. So I took a break. I did a little bit of shooting at mice with the Armada. missed every shot it happens <laughs> and then i got the notos back in and so i've been back at it now the micing this year has been very slow uh I, every night i put a i haven't seen my little flying squirrel buddy i got a flying squirrel buddy that hangs out in the tree out there because i'm always putting seed out for him at night you know I haven't seen him in a couple nights, so I'm, I'm hoping everything's okay with him. <laughs> He's a pretty sweet little dude. Anyways, back to the mousing. I've been mousing for a while. Probably the last four nights as steady as I could sitting out here multiple nights. And I did get a few shots at some mice with the Notos. And I missed all of them. Might have tagged one. threw stock on yesterday I sat back out last night and uh, I got lucky I was able to get a mouse and I'm very happy because I didn't have to sit out here all night and once I got that one mouse I was I was set I didn't have to sit out here any longer I was done it was 44 degrees out last night it was pretty chilly so 
this is the shortish video of uh, the last two mo mice that I got with no toast. One with this one and one with the last one. And then I'll get right back to a regular uh, jam in three, four or five of them, whatever I can get in a month or whatever it is, two weeks together into one video and throwing it back into the pushing away from the shorts. Okay, we're getting really close to a million views on the channel and I'm selling out. <laughs> I feel like I'm selling out. I've noticed that the shorts get so much more attention, so much more views and so much more reach. So that's why I'm stuffing shorts in. I apologize if that's not your thing. It's not my thing. I hate TikTok and all that stuff. It's to me, it's I'd rather sit down and enjoy a good old video, but not everybody's like that. So I'm going to try to get back to editing 10, 12 minute videos, keeping it steady like that. And, uh, occasionally upload shorts if I if I need to but we're getting close to a million views if you haven't seen all of my content feel free to go back and look at some of it but thanks everybody who's still subscribing I'm picking up subscribers all the time I appreciate that very much let's get to the mousing The fucker's coming to steal my seat again. Let's go see if we hit that mouse. Alright, well I hit him. Still breathing. Nope, I think he's toast now. I'm not gonna lie, I seen his little twinkly eye when I walked up. So I think he was just on the final stages of life. Let's see where we hit him. Well, 
his hind end is a little screwed up there. Sorry for not being in focus. There's a little bit of blood I can see right there on his hind end. And I don't really see anything else. This is a field mouse. Vol. Either way, we got him. Ha <laughs> ha! 94 yards. Umarex no toes. Tagged him. I don't know exactly where or which, but tried hitting him with a few follow ups. Those went not quite as good as the. Uh, Initial shot, but either way, we got one. 94 yards. Alrighty, we have broken the curse. We have gotten our first mouse from the 83 yard cement block. Looks like we blew him back off of the block about uh, two and a half, maybe three feet. Let's take a look at him. Still got the seed in his mouth. Umarex Notos, 83 yard mouse. Look at the tail on this sucker. Oh, he's huge. Where'd we hit him? Oh, yeah. It would appear we shot him right in the eyeball meat. And that's why the seed is still in his mouth. <laughs> he went right to sleep. 83 yard headshot on a mouse. Umarex Notos. Delivering the goods with the new buck rail AR-15 conversion kit. Doesn't it just look like a thing of beauty? Hell yeah. All right, can't forget this old guy. 